Hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to complete a task once you eliminate an enemy. Um, basically, what this will do is it'll automatically complete a task um, after you've killed an NPC or another player. So I'll quickly demonstrate. If I kill this NPC, it should come up with eliminate the target, task complete. So if I go back to the editor, in order to do this, you'll need to put down the create task module and the set task state module. You need to fill out all of this with the task ID, the title, blue for, etc. However you want to set up the task. Um, set this to succeeded on the set task state. And then once you get to the trigger, so you don't need to worry about putting one of the 100 meter triggers down. You'll only need this one here. And you put this down and write in not alive and then the variable name of your subject unit. And the subject unit is the target you can want to be killed. So basically I've got here this unit is named target. So that's its variable name. So you can set the variable name um, of the target to whatever you want really. It doesn't really matter as long as you put the variable name in here next to not alive. So it should look like exclamation mark, not alive, and then target. And basically once it detects that this unit is no longer alive, it will set the task state of this task to complete it. Um, and basically that's how you, you do it. But if I am correct, what should happen is, is if you create two and name it say target2 then in here you do not live target and target2 uh, and not alive target2 so because they're both different statements you need to add not alive in front of both of them um, and then once you've done that click OK play scenario And then what should happen is, I can shoot one, it doesn't complete the task, I shoot the other one, and the task is complete. So if you wanted to have it so that it eliminates an entire patrol, for example, so like eliminate the CSAT patrol, you could create multiple units and name them all, so CSAT patrol 1, or patrol 1, patrol 2, etc. And then put them all in like this, and make sure you include the not alive behind each one. And that way you can eliminate, you can create the tasks dynamically um, so that you don't have to Zeus anything, you don't have to really touch anything besides playing the scenario. So thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.